Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Alright y'all, we are back with another Married at First Sight breakdown. Okay, hope you have watched. Alright, so here's the thing. Let me go ahead and bring you up to speed of what's going on in this episode. In this episode, pretty much, you know, they've already moved into their apartment. And now they are about to have their quote-unquote house formings or little get-togethers where their family and friends are coming over in their new space. Okay? So, the, to me, I'm going to be real honest with you. I'm really low-key, high-key, getting a little annoyed with this like prolonged um storyline of Paige and Chris because at this point I'm like bro like I feel away and we'll get more into detail when I get to them but I really feel like at this point they're really just like put letting this buffoonery go on because the ratings of the show go are, are going up I said what I said I don't care Here's the thing, I've always been down for Married at First Sight. I missed the first, like, two, not really, I mean, I missed the first season while it was going through, but I end up catching up and have been watching ever since. So, I'm the real McCoy of the Married at First Sight. So, I'm here regardless. But everybody else might not be. I'm just saying. Anywho, so let's go on and get into it. So, um... We're going to start with, um, we'll start with, what is this man's name? Is his name Jacob? Jacob, the Jake, Jacob. Um, I am glad that, so sometimes I'm, I'm really glad that they do get to actually meet with friends and talk with them because a lot of times I do feel like the friends kind of help them like get out of their own heads and I really feel like, um, I don't know what her name is. Is it Haley? I don't know, y'all. Um, I really feel like her friend kind of helped her get into, like, get out of her head a little bit because as she was kind of explaining things, like, the friend was kind of like, so all I'm hearing is he's kind of weird, but I still haven't really seen what is going on. And honestly, I don't think he's doing anything wrong. I honestly really feel like they're, that's really not her type. I don't really feel like... Um, the, 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 I don't think they match them well at all. They're really on two different opposite ends of the spectrum. And it's really not an age difference, so to speak, because I really do feel like, you know, if someone who is older than you and you are in the right headspace, to handle someone older than you, then it's fine. I don't think that's the issue here. I really don't think that if, if they work out, I will be quite surprised but you can tell when she's with her friends that she kind of looks a little awkward she's trying and he's re he really is awkward and i honestly I ain't even gonna lie i probably would be like when i'm with my friends you just don't know what weird crap he's about to say you know what i'm saying and i feel like he's trying to like when he's making jokes like where were you at when you were 28 and she's like uh you're looking at it. i feel like he's trying to be lighthearted about the situation but y'all i don't know I don't know. That's all I got on them. Um, getting into Claire and Ryan. Y'all, she's struggling, honey. She is she is in need. She needs some sexual healing. I'm just saying. Now, I'm totally with her like I told y'all last time. I'm not a fan of doing some and not doing all. Either we doing it all or we doing nothing. Don't play with it. Literally. Um, so I feel her on that. Um, I really hope that Ryan ends up not being so like super duper conscious that he doesn't fully allow himself to fall in love. Or when he does that it's not too late because clearly she is already full in. Okay. Um, so that's all I got to say about them. Moving on to Virginia and Eric. Now, for them, they they went on a she left for the weekend to go um, to her friend's wedding. And honestly, 
I was a little surprised. I mean, granted, they've only been together a little bit, and I'm pretty sure the guest list was already, like, pretty much done. So, I see why he couldn't go. But I am curious to know if she, you know, kind of asked or wondered if he could go. Or she was just like, oh, yeah, I'm out. Um, I am glad that he got to meet the guy friends that she ramps and raves about. Um, because it could help his reservations about him however i did not like when the friend took him outside on the back porch to kind of talk about things and he's like well try not to be so controlling because the way i see it is is that he's already having reservations about you anyway and then here you go pretty much letting him know that you know all about what's going on with them. And granted, when you have a best friend, I get it. You tell them everything. But y'all all know common code is that you don't regurgitate exactly what we've been talking about. You're supposed to look as if you don't know what is going on. So if it were me, I would feel a way if my husband's girl best friend comes up and says, try not to be so controlling on him. I would have said, well, I don't understand why you know what we got going on anyway. Just my two cents. Comment down below how you feel about um, friends pretty much telling what you are discussing with them about your relationship. And that getting back to them. Let me know how you feel about that. I'm not a fan. Um, he really wants this thing to work. And honestly, I don't know if Virginia is really in a headspace to handle a mature relationship like this. She is still really in the party turn up state. And there's nothing wrong with partying and turning up. But I just really feel like if your husband is not equally a party turn up person, then you are going to have to scale it down if you're going to get married. Because you just have to know your partner. And honestly, I just feel like when you're married, you can't party like you're in college. I'm not saying you can't go out sometimes but you do have to kind of find that comparison in the event that your spouse isn't like that just saying moving on to Brianna and Vincent I really oh my gosh I am glad that they reconciled this disagreement that they had but y'all I was here for the friend getting them together he was like so you mad because she said this? Thank you because I really felt like a lot of people was like, you know, I, I kind of feel them. I mean, you can have your feelings hurt, but this was not grounds to get ready to leave the house. But I am glad that he only got to the parking deck and turned back around. Please know that you we don't get to leave for a disagreement. Where you going? Where's home? Here, you mean? Oh, you going in the living room and coming back? Oh, okay. Because when we marry, we don't, we don't leave. We don't leave. We don't leave. Because when you leave, that's kind of making me feel like you're leaving the marriage. We in this. So you can be angry. You can go in another room. But you're not leaving the house, though. Where are you about to go? For the whole night? Yeah, no. Okay. Um. So, I, I, like I said, I really enjoy when the friends really get them together. Because sometimes that is definitely needed. Because they do be tripping. They be tripping. It really wasn't that deep. Um. I do hope, but moving forward now that she does know that, I kind of kind of feel her on that aspect. Because I feel like, for me, if there is something that I've done to you and I'm not aware that I've done that, I do kind of ask for support and details as well. Like, well, when did I do that? And I know sometimes a person who feels like, dang, you did something to me and you're asking for, like, an example, that that can come, kind of come off wrong. But for me, I feel like I can't learn. If I'm not aware, if I, if I'm, if I can't recall what I had done, and I'm not saying that's me being like, oh, I do no wrong, but if it happened a while ago or if I just didn't realize and you kind of tell me that you didn't like something I did like generally, then I do need an example for me so that I can learn to not do it again. Um, or you're going to have to kind of, hey, it's happening again type situation or else I'm not going to be able to learn from it. Me, if it was me, I would be asking on the ground so that I don't make the same mistake again. Because if I'm not aware that I've done it, then you are going to have to call me out and you're going to have to give me an example so I don't do it again. That's where I'm coming from, and I felt like that's the place she was coming from. Um, but, you know, he kind of was like, I feel like I shouldn't have to, like, tell you. 
if she doesn't know, then yeah. Because sometimes women who are more in control, more of the alpha woman, sometimes we don't realize when we are really like, we really just trying to be structured because that's just the way that we are. But to you, it seems like we're bossing you around. So you might need to call me on it. I'm just saying. But I did enjoy when their when the family came over and how they were really how both the families were blend together. I love to see when both sides of the family blend together because my type of family, um, we blend together like for real, for real. Like we to the point that like we don't we it's not in laws. It's like family. Like I was telling my husband that whenever we actually you know when COVID lifts or whatnot and we're able to see my family like you are not like an in-law you like we be all in there as if you came from the womb of my grandparents that's how we are and a lot of times sometimes the in-laws are there more than the people who are actually part of the family that's the way we mix i really enjoy seeing when the families blend together i really think that's really beautiful and they were really vibing and i loved it and i really thought it was really cute that she has been learning Spanish. I really think that is really cute if you are dating interracially and things of that sort that you making a point to kind of learn their culture or their language so that I mean because think about it if they speak mo mostly Spanish you don't want to be in their laws you want to you know you don't want to be awkward I thought it was really cute that you know she's been learning and stuff like that I really thought that was super cute so here we are with Paige and Chris now here's the thing let me go ahead and tell you this she a good one let me tell you why. They ain't no, you've already asked me for a divorce. And then you want me to come and speak to your baby mama? About what? For one, we're not even married anymore. So you say. So I don't even understand why we need to have a conversation. And call me crazy. But I really don't feel like. <laughs> unless you really have to. I don't really feel like the mother of children and the wife really have to necessarily have a sit down so to speak if they don't want to um because it's just not the wife's jurisdiction in that area um now if you're gonna bonus parent yes um you know i think some boundaries do need to be set if you feel a way as the mother um about things you may or may not like but i mean i feel like you really can't say it's too much because they the wife and i mean she gonna be around because i mean yeah, but I don't think, to me, as a mother, I don't think that as long as I know you're going to treat my child well um, and he's not being disrespected, that I'm okay with us not having to have a sit down. I don't got no beef, but I don't really need to have to talk to you if if it ain't that deep. You know what I'm saying? We don't need to be best friends. I mean, if we tend, if we get there, cool, but off the gate, we don't have to be. Uh, we could definitely do the exchanges. He's fine. He's had this da 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 and be done. But as far as a real long, full on sit down, uh, no. Especially if I'm not ready to have this conversation. I'm with you or I mean in her case she didn't even know that he was getting married so ain't nobody trying to sit down and talk to the wife and I'm pretty sure as me if I was a wife I ain't trying to talk to you call me petty but I'm just saying the two don't have to meet right off the gate it could still be a cordial setting without the meetup I'm just saying so anyway she meets up anyway um, and she a good one because couldn't have been me um, because I don't understand the point at this point because we are divorced Okay, so she decides to come on when I tell you she is the epitome of Doing this with such grace I Don't know how I would have been able to do this with so much grace because first of all Chris You were doing the most and I am thoroughly upset with you and then she came in here with this smirk Although she did end up saying she ain't got no beef, but it was the smirk for me why are we smirking? Because for me, the smirk was making me feel like the way the vibe was going was as if they were still together. And like Paige, the wife, was the side piece. That was what I was getting. Let me know what vibe you was getting. But that's what I was getting. Like they together and you the one broke up the family. No, we thought we didn't know you was a part of the situation. Okay. So the way she was looking like they were together still. It was the vibe she was giving off. And the smirk plus the vibe like y'all together was a... Uh, no, for me. Um, I think I went too far there, but we'll come back in a minute to, to the part that I just thought of. Um, 
So, <laughs> what also thoroughly irritated me was when, you know, Paige was saying she thought she could have been pregnant. And she going to say by who? Again, she did that with Grace because I would have said who else? My husband. Again, Grace, okay? And she was using her words, y'all. She didn't yell not one time. She was using SAT words, baby, okay? She a, th a thesaurus out here, okay? And I was like, come on, you better show that you were educated, for one. Show that you was educated. Show that you were unbothered by this. This was a real boss. She had that crown on, honey. And I... Kudos to her. Because I already know I wouldn't have acted like that. And not that I'm mad at the woman. I'm mad at the situation. <laughs> the situation. Um, now, if she had come incorrect, but that right there might would have triggered me a little. By who? Whom else, my dear? Whom else? And then he's looking like, oh, I didn't know that. First of all, if you slapping cheeks unprotected, exactly what did you think was going to happen? So I also got great joy out of her saying, "Oh yeah, we not we not about to get together." <laughs> How you feel about that? You divorced me, and y'all not getting back together. How do you like those apples? But he was definitely very petty because I was like, "You the one called this meeting together, and you over here acting like a pure child, child." Now, uh, going back just a little here, I did think it was very disrespectful how he pretty much was like dismissing the conversation with his pastor because not only was it your pastor, your pastor married you. And honestly, you know, a person that married you, your pastor that married you, or someone who is there when you take those vows or signs your marriage license, they kind of feel like, you know, it's their due diligence to make sure, I mean, what you need, you need counseling, what you need to ensure that you guys ain't about to break up. He won't try to hear that. And so, honestly, I just don't even feel like Chris came to this process with the right intent. And so, he upset because she's saying that his intent wasn't pure. There is no way. Bro, y'all only two weeks in and this girl is seven weeks pregnant. You was you did the do during the process. That your intentions were not pure. I mean, if you get somebody pregnant, you had sex during the process. So, no, your intent wasn't pure. So, how dare you get upset about it? Like, bro, he's still trash, he's still childish, and he's still wrecking my nerve. I'm really trying to figure out at what point is Married in First Sight going to let her get out. Because we definitely let um, old girl and Zach get a divorce, and they didn't put her through this. So, it is making me feel a way that, like, bro, why, though? Why is she having to go through this? Why? Because your ratings are off the chart? Like, so not cool. And honestly, y'all, watching her having to talk to that baby mama and how he was acting... Excuse me, not baby mama, mother of his child. Um, it was really boiling my gut. It, I, ooh, my grits was 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 cooking. So it really was irritating me. So I'm really hoping that they don't keep dragging this thing along. Like he is really ugh at this point. So comment down below. Let me know you guys know what um you thought of this episode. Um, and we will check back in for next week's episode. Love you guys. Bye.